www.newdebuzz.com. This is Kian Tai. Uh, in this video, I'd like to show you and how you can set up your SkyDrive on a Windows 8 computer. Uh, I'm assuming that you already have SkyDrive on your PC, like the one that we have right here. If not, you can download that. Click on Search. Now you got apps right here. Click on something that says Store, and it's gonna preload. Then uh, look for Sky drive just type that in there it's going to give you sky drive right here click on sky drive it's say free and you would get a button here and it says install all right after you install that it would say you own this app already it says like this right now because it's already installed on this pc so you go back after you install that it's going to launch and ask you to input your microsoft account uh, your Microsoft account is just your Hotmail, your live account that you have with Windows. After you log in, it's going to give you uh, an app icon right here on the start menu. If you're rooting the action from, let's go back from your desktop right here, just go to start menu and click on SkyDrive. It's, if it's not in there, I mean, uh, it's probably right here on because it's movable so you just like search for that in there click on that and it's gonna load SkyDrive this is my SkyDrive Noodles SkyDrive if this is your SkyDrive would say your name's SkyDrive so you got a tutorial right here video tutorial that you could watch it would say access your files anywhere yeah that's true because it's going to upload your file on a web server so using an Android or using a Windows phone, maybe uh, an iPhone and using PCs, tablets, whatever, you can access that. Just get to have an app and log into your account. And you can get a download and use your documents, uh, photos from anywhere, literally. So again, you can just click on close and it's gonna give you all of these right here. Documents, pictures, public. Let's say zero zero and zero okay so take a look at that if you hover on that we say shared with just me if you hover on this second one shared with just me if you say public then it's a public document uh, somehow you can share that with somebody else so for the sake of this video tutorial I actually have created I mean uh, isolated and uh, kept in a folder now files that I would want to show you as a test upload. Uh, if you double click on that, those are just basically JPEG files and some MP4 files. Um, it's not necessary to name that SkyDrive. Uh, you could name that anything. I just actually created uh, SkyDrive for the sake of uh, naming that. So again, go back to your app, SkyDrive right here. Got documents, pictures, public. What you want to do is to upload photos to SkyDrive. Let's say choose upload and pick some files and you'll be able to access your files anywhere. You've got no items there. So what you do is to right click over that. Again, right click. Then you've got refresh, new folder, upload details, select all. So you got upload. You don't have anything what you do is you click on upload so it would, uh, would source out your computer's folder I uh, would say Adobe Adobe Camtasia um, let's just click on go up so we could go back up one directory and go up back again then if you're on a part that says computer you could double click on that oh, close sorry just click on that I mean uh, if you remember this is our desktop and we got the file here okay so we're rooting that from there so go back and click on desktop you got SkyDrive that's the folder to verify that it's really the folder let's name it uh, drive sky right for the sake of testing and go back and SkyDrive double click it would say can't be found why because you changed the folders name so go back up and double click again on desktop and you got drive sky all right so click on that that should give you all the files that you have in there
those JPEG files. So what you do, let's just select, um, if you hover, it's going to give you info. Hover, you get another info, and hover. So to check um, if that's really the file that you want to upload, click on a file. It's going to get you a check mark. Uh, let's just select three right here. Um, and this is actually an MP4 file right here. So let's have uh, another JPEG. We got three JPEGs. Click on Add to Sky Drive right at the bottom, and it should actually say three items in progress right on top. Wait up a little bit, and it should be uploaded. And you got the first one in there. You got the second one. And you got the third one. So that is how it's going to be arranged. If you right click over that, you got something that says manage, open with. Let's try to open that. Oh, sorry, I didn't click on it. Okay. We'll give you one item in progress. We'll say done. How do you want to open the file? I want to open the file using the photo viewer. Then there it is. That's the file we have. Now go back to your drive. Then if you want to add, then you could do so. There you go. That's your picture. It's going to get a little bit larger so you can get a thumbnail in there. And documents. Let's try to upload something on documents right click go for upload then you're on the same directory let's try to upload a video file click on that this is actually a bit large so it might take up a little bit of a time to upload so let's just click on add to sky drive uh, I guess I'm, I'm not gonna finish that because it's really gonna take much of my time and your time for you to see how the item upload is progressing, click on that. It should give you that marker right there. So that's about it in uh, configuring or uploading files to your uh, Windows Sky Drive. So again, for some other video tutorials, you could always check out www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash noodleworks. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you back.